progesterone has a few particular important uses. One is as a general counterbalance to estrogen. The, the two kind of work together. A, a lot of the negative effects of estrogen, there are potentially negative effects that estrogen could cause, are limited to some extent by progesterone. If they're in balance together with one another, things go pretty well. If you have excess estrogen relative to your progesterone, you end up with a slew of difficulties that they, they call like estrogen dominance. You know, breast pain, PMS symptoms, heavy menstrual bleeding, weight gain, water retention, migraine headaches, you can get blood clots, varicose veins, hemorrhoids, it's just a list of things you don't really want. Increases your risk for breast and uterine cancer. So progesterone, it turns out, reduces a woman's risk of both breast cancer and uterine cancer. Progesterone is really key to that, mitigating the potential of increased cancer risk of estrogen. Another area is any PMS-related problem. So premenstrual issues, you know, the, the common symptoms when we get breast pain again and swelling and water retention and weird mood changes, cravings, headaches, all these things. Um, often they result from a relative imbalance of progesterone and estrogen during that last week before your period starts. If the progesterone levels are too low to be in balance with estrogen, then you get a lot of those PMS symptoms that I mentioned and, and women hate those and they're very, very common. So any woman I see who has any PMS related issue, First thing I would say is just go to any health food store and get some progesterone cream. It's available over the counter as a cream. Um, you don't need a prescription for that. The cream works great. And you can apply it a couple times per day. You can apply it once just at night. You play with it. Go anywhere between like 20 and 40 milligrams per day. A standard dose is usually 20 milligrams, whether it's in a pump or a packet or, or whatnot.